Hey kids, very good evening. This is Sundar Abhinandan here. How are you guys? I am back. Yeah, hi Rashika, hi Priyanka, hi Tasmiya, hi Sierra Yadav, hi Ayush, hi Ramesh, hi Nivedita, Hitender. Oh, lovely guys, lovely to see so many of you pouring in because this is quite a very interesting session, is it not? Yeah. Many a times, you know, we used to wonder, I used to wonder in my younger days, how will life be inside a spacecraft? All right. How, what can I eat? Can I really take bath every day? Right. Is it possible for me to do a workout in, you know, a spacecraft? Lot of questions, lot of questions pouring in, is it not? So today you will get the answers for almost all the questions. Yeah. So my dear kids, welcome to the session on life inside a spacecraft. It's going to be quite interesting and amazing session. Be all there, geared and gunned. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, let me move on. By the way, kids, because of your support, we have touched 1 million views at Vedantu Young Wonders yesterday. Kudos to all of you. It's all because of you guys. Love you all once again. Right? So, it's because of the love and affection that we have on you. That is uh, the main reason why, you know, uh, we were able to achieve this feat. And thanks to you guys. Kudos to you all. Congratulations to all of us, my dear kids. Right? Lovely, lovely, lovely to see that. Uh, so, my dear students, one million views. How does that sound? Let me see your comments. Wow, wow, wow. Super guys, yes. You are, you are. Lovely my dear students, okay. So let us move on. All right guys, I am sure all of you have already subscribed to Vedantu Young Wonders. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I request all of you guys, anyone who is new to this session, please ensure, don't forget to subscribe right away. If at all you want to do it, the time is always now. Click on subscribe and do remember to enable the bell icon so that we are able to notify of the daily updates. Right kids? Okay, have you done it? Thank you so much. Love you all. All right, let us move on. So guys, is everyone ready? All right. Here we go. So a spacecraft, all right? Inside a spacecraft, how will life be? That's what we are going to deal with. So look at it. The view itself will be super awesome, is it not? You can see the earth from there and imagine how lovely it will be. Yeah? Nidhi is asking for spell B. Don't worry guys, we will do a spell B. This week I'll plan one, okay? Probably on Saturday or Sunday, okay? All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely my dear kids. All right, so what is life like in space? So in space you will find that every astronaut is given a very, very small space. So these two spaces are different, don't forget, okay? Don't uh, uh, confuse yourself. And you know that there is no gravity. They have escaped gravity already. They float in space. Okay. The way the heart and the blood, all right, the circulation, the circulatory system functions, it changes a little. So you have to plan the way you lead your lifestyle accordingly. This is very, very important. So what kind of changes? Changes into your diet, changes into your, you know, uh, the, your lifestyle. The way you take, uh, you know, you dress, the way you, what kind of dress you wear, what kind of food you eat. All right, all your habits as well. Now, let us see what are they. So, what is inside a spacecraft? Number one, there is a living quarters. When we say living quarters, do not mistake that it's going to be a huge space where you can comfortably be there. It's a very narrow space. Living, though it's called as living quarters, it is also a very, very narrow space, my dear kids. Remember that? 
and uh, there is a cargo bay where all the food you know the storage part stuff is kept there there is a cargo bay and fuel tank is a separate thing all right you will find that at the end the fuel tank will be there so these three things form very broadly the the, the craft all right okay so now let's speak a little about international space station why are they there it is a space station that is an artificial space station that has been created by us it keeps moving around the earth's orbit okay it's called low earth orbit it keeps moving around and uh, it is habitable that means people can live inside that all right and if from a certain places in the earth you would be able to see the space station just for with your naked eyes lovely is it not with telescope you you would be able to comfortably see that right now how does astronauts live and survive in space so the international space station protects human life against space radiation the hard vacuum of space and extremes of temperature so when you go there to the space station astronauts must take everything the light they need the heat they need the power they need the food they need water they need and the air that is the atmosphere they need so that means everything is carried by them to the space station please remember this my dear kids not something it is not something that it is already there the astronauts carry these things with themselves so please remember this right that's how life goes inside a space station astronaut carry everything there all right just give me a minute guys okay right so now what food do they eat okay space foods are in generally in plastic containers you know what kind of food they eat they generally tend to avoid bread they tend to avoid air you know kind of normal food that we eat only but they avoid bread aerated drinks they generally don't have all right and um, you will find that all the food is properly packed they don't have stuff like pepper and all powders pepper powders they avoid because it can always hurt their eyes are you clear right lovely so what kind of food they eat the normal food but sir i'll avoid in they avoid certain types of food you need to remember that right what kind of clothing the temperature is very 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 critical there so astronauts whenever they venture outside they wear a special space suit with enough supply of oxygen all right so when they live inside they need this very very important okay guys so the clothing is not the ordinary clothing that we use it's a very special clothing very special clothing that they use uh, when when they are inside the space station okay sleep do you know they can't sleep the way we sleep because they will start floating and the heart function will also differ inside the space station when they sleep they it's like putting a, a what do you call uh, you know see it's like a seat belt they always put the strip them with a seat belt so that they don't start floating okay and they they sleep in something called a sleeping bag they strap their bodies so that the body does not float it's not that easy to sleep in space guys trust me because the mechanism of the body is altered a bit so it is a bit tough to sleep in space but they adjust themselves with proper practice they are given all the training that is required to sleep there as well right definitely if you are difficult amrita yes do they take bath do astronauts take bath while living and working in the space shuttle they can't take bath because water you can't control it all right the moment you pour water 
so they use a special waterless shampoo for head and they clean their body with a wet towel we have this wet towels available right similar wet towels they use it to clean their body and uh, for taking a head bath they use a waterless shampoo it's a shampoo you just need to do it you don't need to put water at all how does that information sound to you look at it guys it's not that easy living in space but still they enjoy and do you know how they spend their time in space every day there is they how do they spend all right this is also a very important part how do they you know how do toilets work in space right again they have to wear a seat belt attach themselves to the toilet so that the body does not float and they use a device like a vacuum cleaner and suck all the waste away guys so uh, you know it is very very essential that we understand how challenging the life is there yeah paper art is saying i want to be an astronaut guys it is not uh, there is nothing to be you know uh, we should be proud about those, those guys they are every single minute they are facing these challenges and they are enjoying it which is which matters the most yeah yeah is there a tv no tv good question entertainment how do they spend their time their free time right so astronauts spend their leisure time by reading books music works there and they keep looking at the beautiful view of the earth from there all right and uh, you know what because of the different climate and the atmospheric conditions you will find the 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 view of the earth keeps changing a little overall it will be similar but minor changes will always be there they keep spending time looking at how beautiful the earth is and they can read they can listen to music unfortunately a lot of stuff like you can't even play stuff like chess everything starts floating right you have to tie everything then only you can play so the life inside a spacecraft is not that easy my dear kids right so now you know what kind of food they can eat they can eat anything similar to ours however however certain food they can't which will not suit you know their uh, body condition in space like aerated drinks they can't similarly they how to take bath how to spend their time all right everything you guys have seen now is it not lovely lovely so my dear students okay for people who are new uh, i hope you guys are already enjoying the uh, you know the the free courses that the classes that vedantu is giving vedantu is giving free classes the entire platform is free due to the covid 19 situation the corona situation all you have to do is access go to vdnt.in/ytlive make sure you guys really enjoy these classes guys vdnt.in Slash Y T Live. You clear, guys? Lovely, lovely. Hey, guys. We have started the uh, academic year today. I hope all of you know. I only took the orientation classes for grade six. We have started our regular classes, academic classes today. So we are also running a crash course where you can get ahead, complete everything in a quick. Uh, a short span of time this is the link for the class course my dear students bdnt.in/yt6cc for 6th grade crash course yt7cc for 7th grade and yt8cc for 8th grade all right use my coupon code sr sundar srcc crash course i repeat the coupon code is srcc and all you have to do is go to this link apply the coupon code You get a course which is six thousand rupees just for two eight five zero, more than fifty five percent discount, guys. All right, lovely. Okay, right, guys. Now, uh, my dear students, we have our Telegram group as well. 
How many of you have already joined the Telegram group? Can you ping? I want to see. How many of you are a part of the Telegram group already? Say no if you are not. I want to see how many are not. Travel with Seth. Come on. Om, please join. Lohita. Hey guys, so many of you have not joined. Please ensure you open your Chrome browser in your mobile. Type t.me slash Vedantujunior. And you will, it will take you to the screen, what you see in the top. Install the Telegram and join Vedantu Young Wonders. Type Vedantu Young Wonders, click on join. You will be connected with us. All right, kids. Lovely, my dear students. Lovely, it was lovely interacting with all you guys. So, life inside a spacecraft, what all you guys learned? First, number one. What kind of place is available? It's a very narrow space. Number two, you will keep floating, which all of us know, but not for everything it's a challenge, including using a toilet. Is it not? And number three, what kind of food? What, you know, you need to be well-planned and self-disciplined to survive in space. This is the key to whatever we are learning now. Right? All right, guys. So I hope all the information that I pass on to you today on spacecraft inspired you to become an astronaut right lovely guys so if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to vedantu young wonders my dear kids right don't forget to subscribe i will meet you guys again in another video all right until then it is myself sundar rabindranathan guys bye bye Parthasar, the architect.